Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem known as number formation. So in this problem we are given three integers x, y and z and the task is to find all the numbers, have the sum of it modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 okay this is a prime number and basically why is this given this is given so that the number is not large and it fit inside uh, integer so that we don't have integer overflow okay so we are given like this so we are allowed to use four ones at most ones this means that suppose at most means please learn the difference between this exact means we need suppose it is given that 4 should be used exactly 2 times that means we can't use 4 more than 2 less than 2 we should use equal to 2 but at most means that the number can be less than 2 equal to 2 but not more than 2 okay so we are allowed to use x 4 once 5 once 6 once okay so what are the numbers the different numbers are we can have 4 where 4 is used 1 but y is used uh, 5 is used 0 7 6 is used 0 so by doing this we have all the numbers and if we just add up this number we would have this so this is the number so before we move forward let me discuss the prerequisite to this problem so this problem requires a deep understanding of recursion and you should be already familiar with dynamic programming and you should be quite good with memoization so that you are good with iterative dp2 why because many a times we have heard this statement that sometimes the each problem can be solved using memoization too but sometimes iterative is much easier to implement than the recursive one okay so please understand this that this problem if it is not that iterative dp if we write this memoization version it would be very big to implement and it might be not much uh, intermediate friendly too so to make it intermediate friendly i have implemented the given in a iterative way okay so now let us try to move for move forward so if we move forward so whenever we are trying to solve a dp problem the first thing that should hit our mind is how would we have okay so we are asked to have the sum now to have the sum how can we think of okay like what is the intuition to get to the state this would be my main focus so let us see what about the intuition the intuition would be that let's suppose when we are allowed to have 0 4 0 1 okay and 0 4 0 5 and 0 6 so there is no way that is 1 so there is no way that is also why so i can say that 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 way is 1 when x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 and z is equals to 0 now what you can do is this is the smallest condition so you can take it at this base condition so base condition can be thought of as the first invalid condition okay like what is the first invalid condition when x is 0 y is 0 and z is 0 it can't be less than that okay first invalid condition now let us talk about a recursive so don't directly try to jump to recursive try to think okay so try to think how would we have to the state so make x as 1 y as 0 and z as 0 so now try to think what are the numbers that we can have by using 4 so we can say that exactly 1 4 we would have so now exactly 1 4 and this again 0 so what we can think of is the dp state should be in a way that it should return me the exact sum exact sum using exactly x4 y5 and z6 okay we should be using that because we know that we need to con uh, at each step we need to have different intermediate result so to remove that thing we can have exact sum and we can just sum up everything because we know that this is a dynamic programming problem so we would have the intermediate result so we can just sum up everything so now how to get to a particular result suppose we can say that the exact sum or i would just write sum please so here i would just write exact sum 
but in the question i would just implement it with some so that we don't need to write the exact each number of times so let us suppose x is equal to 1 y is equals to 0 and z is equals to 0 so in that scenario we can say that we would use x is equal to 0 the value of x is equals to 0 so we can think of that we need the x minus y th value and now if you think out more i'm just minimizing the bit thought process so you would come to the conclusion that exact sum of x comma y comma z is nothing but 10 multiplied by recurrence of x minus 1 comma y comma z first we would multiply that next recurrence of x comma y minus 1 we would remove 1 5 and then z itself and then the last part is rec of x comma y comma z minus 1 and we would have this okay now what are the other things we would require suppose we have 4 so the next value would be 44 so suppose where, where x is equals to z, x is equals to 1 so let's talk about i would just show you the intuition what i'm trying to do so suppose x is equals to 2 exact sum so what is the sum and y is again 0 z is again 0 so how can we take the values so what we can do is we would take x is equals to 1 x is equals to 1 means x is equals to value 4 y is 0 z is 0 okay so what we would do x minus 1 multiplied by 10 plus 4 then we would have the sum as 44 have that so now we can say that that after this we would have 4 multiplied by x minus 1 y comma z plus 5 multiplied by x comma y minus 1 comma z plus 6 multiplied by x comma y comma z minus 1 and this would be done so this value added to this value would be your answer now we would have some other conditions too the other conditions are if y is greater than 0 if z minus 1 is greater than 0 then only we would greater than equal to 0 okay then only we would do that so either greater than 0 so the intuition was that first let us just summarize what was the intuition in hindi okay so intuition kya tha na ki humne socha ki sabse smallest kya hoga sabse smallest ye hoga jab x is equals to 0 y is equals to 0 and z is equals to 0 matlab sare zero rahenge tab ek hi way ho sakta hai ki koi tarika nahi first uske upar thoda gaye taki hum log recursive condition soch paaye recursive condition jab sochne pe aaye tab hame laga ki x is equal to 1 karke check karte hain y aur z same rehne dete hain zero hi rehne dete hain taki thoda calculation hamare rough work pe easy ho so x is equal to 1 pe check kiya okay so theek hai 4 aa gaya so thoda aage jaate x is equal to 2 mein jaate hain tab hame pata chala ki x is equal to 2 ka value alag alag ho raha hai 1 aur 2 dono ka lana pad raha hai so we can think of like that that we would have the exact sum so exact sum aa gaya exact sum aane ke baad 4 dekho yahan pe kya tha exact sum of x is equals to 2 y or z 0 so exact sum of x is equals to 2 kya hoga 44 hoga और उसके पिछला वैल्यू क्या था x is equals to 1 में 4 तो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू 4 44 4 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 10 प्लस 4 इनटू नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वी हैव x minus 1 comma z comma 0 वी हैव दिस ओके सो नो लेट अस मूव टू द इंप्लीमेंटेशन एंड वी वुड सी हाउ वी आर हैविंग द वैल्यूज हाउ वी आर हैंडलिंग द मोड एंड ऑल ओके एंड दिस वुड बी क्वाइट इजी ओके making everything as lower case okay okay lower case ho gaya ab we would have int mod is equals to 1 e 9 plus 7 okay so you can declare it as a constant also okay now the implementation can be in two ways okay so i would just show you either we what we have a plus b 
होल मॉड्यूलो एम इज इक्वल टू ए मॉड्यूलो एम प्लस बी मॉड्यूलो एम एंड देन होल मॉड्यूलो एम वी हैव दिस बट टू रिमूव दिस हेड एक वट वी डू इज वी हैव लॉन्ग लॉन्ग और लॉन्ग लॉन्ग एंड एंड वी सिंपली डू ए प्लस बी एट दी एंड वट एवर इज द रिजल्ट बिकॉज वी कैन स्टोर द रिजल्ट देन वी वुड सिंपली हैव मॉड्यूलो एम कैसे मतलब ध्यान से सोचो कि टेन टू दावर नाइन प्लस टेन टू दावर नाइन ये इंटीजियर पे नहीं रह सकता है ओके okay? बट ये लॉन्ग लॉन्ग में तो रह सकता है क्योंकि उसकी रेंज ज्यादा है अब पहले उसको एक बड़े जगह में करने के बाद फिर लास्ट में जाके एक बार मॉड लेंगे तो हर स्टेप पे वो मॉड लेने की जरूरत हमारी नहीं है ओके सो एक स्मार्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन होती है सो वी वुड हैव लॉन्ग लॉन्ग एंड दिस इज नोन एज एक्ट सम प्लीज कीप दिस इन माइंड So we want one indexing. Okay, so we would initialize it to y plus one and then z plus one. Okay, then we have long long the number of times we have these all values x plus one, y plus one and then z plus one. Due to the calculation of two kind of states, we the recursive plus memoization would be a bit lengthy one and a complex one. Okay, so now we would make everything to zero. everything to zero so you can just use a for nested for loop and you can make everything to zero but here i would simply use the mem set which would make all the values of sum and num as zero okay this is the use of this thing yes okay so i will just copy this Okay, now and some both are done. Now we would have long long answer is equals to zero. Okay, and then as we know, the first way is to have no way. So number of zero zero zero. Is equal to the value one. Okay, now we would start the iteration. For int i is equals to zero, i is less than equal to the value x and i plus plus. Then the next nested loop for int j is equals to zero. J is less than equal to y, and then j plus plus. Okay. And then we have the nested k. So int k is equals to zero. Okay. K is less than equal to the value z, and then k plus plus. Okay. So let us start now. So I can say that if i is greater than zero, then only we can go to x minus one. If x is greater than zero, then only we can go to x minus one. Na? So if it is greater than zero, okay, then sum of i, j, and k plus equals to okay, sum of i minus one. comma j comma the value k itself okay and then this should be multiplied to 10 okay then we have the plus symbol then we would do the same thing again and again okay so let us do this again okay so 4 multiplied by the number of times i minus 1 comma j comma k number of times like go to 4 first have 4 and then go to 44 x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 2 exact sum and you would get this value okay and then this is done okay after that do a modulo Okay, because this is long long, so you can just do a outer module and it would be done. You don't need to do intermediate module. Okay, fair enough. Now, this was talking about the tenth part. Now, now, now. The num of i, j, and k plus equals to num of 
i minus 1 dash g and dash k modulo mod. Now, what is this all about? This thing is that, okay, just let me first put this here, okay. Okay, so this is about that, that suppose when we have one four, now we want the number of times we have the number, now how many numbers we have. This is storing the count of the numbers. So if we have something like four and the count is one, when x is equals to one. Now suppose when x is equals to two, so the count of numbers with x is equal to two, y and z would always be the same in our explanation. So we have just 44. So we would just add this value. So this was 0, 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 itself. Okay. Now we would go to the next one. Okay. If j is greater than 0. And we would copy these all things again. Okay. Small bit of changes would be done. What kind of changes? Just see and then you would understand what are the changes. Okay. So if j is greater than 0, so i would remain the same, j minus 1 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 10. Then we have this one as 5 multiplied by j minus 1. Okay. And this one would be again j minus 1. Okay. We have j greater than 0 also. Now the next one is if k is greater than 0 okay now we would again copy this condition write it here and then this would be k minus 1 okay and this one would be 4 5 and this one would be 6 and this one would be k minus 1 okay so now we have the last value Okay. This is also done. Okay. K is greater than 0 is also done. Now what we have answer plus equals to sum of i, j and k. And this one would be mod. Okay. Why? Because if you observe that we want all the intermediate value. We don't want the exact sum. We want the at most sum. At most sum means that we need the value of x is equal to 0 also, 1 also, 2 also. That is why we are storing the ultimate result in the value answer. Okay. So, then we have answer modulo is equal to the mod value. Okay. This is done. The for loop is now closed. And then we have the return. And this one would be the integer. And this one would be the answer. So, I just compile and run and see. Now, let us try to compile and run. Okay, we are getting a correct output for the sample test case. And yes, we got an AC. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.